Okay, here we are, Matthew Russell Lee, Inner City Press, here in Foley Square. It's Monday, August 21st, 2023, and we're covering this case, the, court, the courts. On Friday, late, uh, there was a flurry of filings in the Sam Bankman Freed case, which, of which on which we wrote the book Crypto Creeps, but there'll be a sequel because Bankman Freed's lawyers want him to be able to come here, here to the Southern District, the tall building behind me, every day from 9 to 5 at least, uh, a pending trial. It's never been done before. The only thing, to be honest, there was something similar where Joshua Schulte, charged with leaking Vault 7 from the CIA to WikiLeaks, was allowed to spend a lot of time pending his first and second trial. There's going to be a third trial in which he's not going to get this privilege. In the skiff, the so-called skiff on the ninth floor of um, 500 Pearl Street. But that was because it was national security information that couldn't be shown to him in any other way. I've never seen it in other cases, and Bankman Freed wants full access nine to five. It's, it's akin, I was saying, to, to uh, Jeffrey Epstein's special service in the MCC behind me. Before he was reportedly killed, killed himself there, he had full access to the, the legal meeting room. In fact, other defense attorneys and, 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 and inmates were complaining, and City Press reported it, that they couldn't use the room because he was there and supposed his lawyers brought in uh, seemingly young uh, interns in any event. Uh, we'll see what happens with Bankman Freed's request. So th their lawyers say that he's supposed to be coming in to be arraigned uh, Tuesday, tomorrow at 9 a.m. It's not in the docket yet, but they would, they would be the ones to know. So there's that, of course. Now, in the Trump docket, Mark Meadows has not only moved to remove his case from the Georgia state courts to the, to the northern district of Georgia, but he's asked the federal judge to preemptively dismiss the case as being barred and he has full immunity. So we'll see what happens on that. In UN news, Antonio Guterres, as we've reported, has been missing in action on vacation. They haven't said where, how much he was spending, but a, a, a website said he was in Fez, Morocco, and the spokesman, Stefan Dujark, reached out and said, if you'd only asked, we would have answered. Well, that's not true. We've been asking that, and more importantly, about UN corruption and peacekeepers' rapes for weeks without any answer. More on this anon, Inner City Press.